All right, let's finally get back to this after a long awaited uh, uh, sidetracking. I finally am ready to go back into this. And finally help your family out, Chloe. Oh, we can talk to her father, I guess. Please stop traipsing around. Please stop traipsing through here, Chloe. Trying to walk. We're trying to stop the blizzard, Dad. Yes, yes, I'm sure it's an excellent game, but you and your friends can play it elsewhere, hmm? I don't know if I was doing the same voice as I did for him before. I wonder if I can go do something over here. Still looks blocked off. Okay, I guess we'll go this way. She said to go to her room. So let's go and do that. Oh, is that the thing she was talking about? You found it? Oka in channel. So what does it say about the curse? Yeah. Listen, grandchild, to what I say. Upon this house, a curse I lay. When a thief should cross our land, a spell will trap them close at hand. To protect the treasures buried within a terrible blizzard shall begin. The spirits of a dead shall arise to defend against invading spies. Did that rhyme? I don't know. Oh no, lies, spies, yeah. Hold up, there's more on the next page. To unseal this house from snow and ice, solve the mystery of my device. There is a secret among the bones, hidden by moss overgrown. Find what's fragile when it's alone, by a united hit, hard as stone. Soft and gentle when it lies quiet, dangerous in a rush, alright. A mystery, a clue, yes. But uh, what does it mean? Mmm. A water stream? I think all the streams are frozen over. Not much Russian. Maybe we should try. St we should start going to where the clues are. Maybe s pointing to and look around. Bones, moss. Hmm. Could be referring to the graveyard. It, you have your own family graveyard? Doesn't everyone? I mean, who wouldn't want to be buried with a bunch of people they've never met before? So awkward. We can get there by passing through the basement. There's a ladder in the cold room on the ground floor. Cool. There's a key up there, too. It's your brother. I forgot what her brother's name is. Charlie. Hey, Chloe. You unraveled any mysteries this morning. Working on it. Everyone, this is my brother, Charlie. He's also an investigator, but he investigates questions no one else is asking. The most interesting kind, the answers create even more questions. Okay, I thought there was going to be anything new, but... Oh. It's a nice little room. Uh... If I stand here, will Yagi push me up? It doesn't. But I could probably do this, yep. Yeah. Oh, and that's how I get up here. Ooh, what is this? There are several newspaper clippings of article- Oh, Gray Fox, uh-oh. <laughs> oh wait, is that Piper? <gasps> oh, Piper must be Gray Fox. Well, but he's not gray, though. Could be, though. I know we pissed off Gray Fox because we stole from him. Looks like Chloe and Charlie have been investigating this mysterious character. Ooh, a bathroom. The uh, physics are not. Never mind. Because I was floating above it for a second. Oh well. Dang, this is a very nice uh, bathroom. Looks so clean. Dang it. Okay, there you go. That took much longer than I wanted it to. Ooh, my clothes. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Okay, I guess that's it for this room. Uh, I want to try this again. I think I might have missed it last time. Yeah, you have to take it from a certain side. Also, how do I get up there? Oh. Did I miss going? Oh, I did. I'm dumb. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Didn't see that painting there. It's almost too late. Uh, let's go for... Charcoal pouch. Oh, I should probably change this out. Yeah, it doesn't do that much damage. I think we can finish it off with Charcoal Pouch again. There we go. for a little sound in here. Or my notes. Has anyone found the common room key? Did you check the cemetery, sweetheart? Positive. The spirits could help you. Is this the key to the kitchen? I guess that's the common room. So I guess the kitchen is... Below these stairs over here? Yep. Oh, well, those paintings look a bit suspicious. Yep. Think I got a level up? Yep. One more and then we get a backpack all fully upgraded. Do HP. Now we get our HP back all the way up. Hmm. Oh, I was gonna say I don't see anything here, but... I wonder if you get first strike with Chloe's move. Oops. <laughs> well, I messed that up. Um... I don't we have that many moves that are good against these guys. Maybe we can switch to Lint? Can I do that? Oh, it's not gonna let me this turn. Guess I'll just roundhouse kick this guy. So I'll get rid of one of them. Let's get uh went out here. Let's have him do this. There we go. Lint is still our little powerhouse. Even though he doesn't act like it. Maybe I should have Chloe out more though. Uh, what moves did I give her? Uh, she has red herring. Hindsight. Uh, I'll keep Icy Stare because that's just a good move. Yeah. any other guys? Oh wait, I think I can climb up here? Yep, looks like that. You're supposed to get somewhere? Doesn't look like it leads me anywhere when I do this. Oh wait, I think I see where I need to go. Somewhere up here. Oh, just a salamander. Okay, I don't think there's anything in that box. I'll just check real quick. Curiosity wants to find out. Okay, it was kind of worth coming up. Who's that red clover again? Um, there's a lot of cans of tomato over here. It's a little imp. I guess I could test out that new move I got for Chloe.
Don't think it's gonna be any good, but might as well try it out. Oh, it does some decent damage. Playing with these enemies pretty well now. Got plenty of AoE moves to deal with them. Oh, this guy has another. Is this supposed to be another barrel face guy? Uh. Well, it had that sticker on him, but I guess it wasn't. So take me to the basement. Before I go in there, I just want to check other stuff first. There's a note. Cyrus, I can't tolerate your unending scavenging, but please pick up after yourself next time. I had to pass through the cold room to access the basement. It's unacceptable. Oh, I guess it means just all this stuff here being lean about. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Getting to be like a hoarder situation. And that's never pretty. It's a little imp in the background. Shoot, the lights went out again. Is this what she's supposed to teach me about her ability? But fret not, I have just the thing. I'm a trusted lantern. Press and hold red sugar and to shed some light on the situation. It's also useful for starting small fires. Just release red sugar and I'll throw my lantern. If there's char object in the way, I'll reduce it to ashes. The longer you hold it, the farther I'll throw my lantern. Now onward, Watsons. Alright, Chloe. Guess that's just show you what to do. Go find that little imp that was over here. No, I was hoping I could try again the first strike. Oh no, he got me with the first strike? That's not good. Thankfully, we avoided the possession. Okay, let's go for... This charcoal pouch. That ain't broke, don't fix it. We can finish it off with the charcoal pouch. My X A Y. There you go. I need to get some of my HP back up. Oh, you know I got the level up, so that's gonna solve that issue. Let's go for more HP because these guys are whittling down my HP. Apparently, I suck at blocking. And then we got their backpack level up, so let's see what that looks like fully leveled up. Okay, it actually does fill. So I'm just missing kitchen knife. I can do the saving sword, but I don't have nut bow. Uh, that's a bit bummer, but whatever. I picked something up. Chocolate cake. Hmm, what was this thing over here? It looked like some sort of statue. It's an old statue depicting a young woman. Looks like it's missing an arm. Oh, I guess I gotta look for that. Looks like I can get on top of somewhere. Looks like hand from right there. Oh, I see. I gotta push this, right? 
Hmm. Do I grab it? Oh, I'm stupid. I know what I'm supposed to do when I see those push marks. Those skid marks? Is I'm supposed to whack it. I was playing another game where you actually do push stuff called Calibra. Uh, I think by the time you guys see this video, that episode will, there, that video will be on the channel. And that one you actually have to lean up against stuff to actually push them. I'm guessing we're gonna find the arm to that statue up here. Ah, oh, dang it. Hmm. Well, I kept trying, but I really couldn't get anywhere with that, so I'm just gonna. I'll come back to that area later. I think I can just like toss these lights out. That way I don't have to keep holding her. Her move, because it gets kind of annoying hearing the sound over and over again. I forgot this is a basement. Why do they have a sink down here? <laughs> very fancy. Also, very huge basement. Can I fight? Yeah, I'll fight this guy. I haven't really been incentivized to use like single target moves mainly because a lot of the enemies don't really have that much health where I should focus on focusing on one whereas like the multi-target moves seem to be just overpowered in a sense. I don't know, that's just something I'm noticing so far in battles is that I'm just prioritizing the uh, AoE moves more. Secret area. <laughs> Firebomb. The most unstable invention of the mad scientist, Dr. Wowie. Now you're cooking. Mm. Here's another move that's probably <laughs> good AoE, yeah. Four damage. Uh, charcoal pouch is three. Oh, wow. You know what? Let's do. That I think I can move the meteoric knife down there. Let's get the fish hammer over here, and then we can have the sickle over there. There you go, fully decked out. That was it. So I had some clovers, but. That's it. Okay, let's go out to the cemetery. Oh man, this gotta suck. Having enemies just want to fight you in your backyard. Anybody in here? Oh, maybe these guys wouldn't be here if, um... Well, this guy's like frozen solid. Can't break him. Break these guys, but. Not that. Oh, wait, you know what? Maybe you need to do this. Nope. Oh. It's another one of those frozen guys. Do need to get caught on fire, though. Oh, I thought that would be enough. I guess we could try that firebomb now. Oh, if I got firebomb, I can get rid of the uh, fire whip. It's pretty much the same as charcoal pouch. 
it seems to do less damage, surprisingly. Uh, what's with Chloe? What the heck happened to her? That was weird. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to break these lies, guys. Maybe if I charge it all the way? Oh. Guess I'll beat this guy. It's a big crew here. Oh, it does do a lot of damage. Oh, you know what? Because the uh, cold slime resists the uh, the hammer moves, the hammer type moves. Forgot about that. I wonder if Lint can dig this out. No, nope, doesn't seem like something he can dig out. Hmm. Well, I need to be able to activate a fire somehow. But can Lint or Loaf set himself on fire? Doesn't seem like it. The only thing that's fiery is this, but it doesn't catch Loaf on fire at all. Hmm, maybe later when the curse is lifted. Maybe Salamander's on this side of the wall or something. Oh, no. Cynthia, darling, I know you admire the ambience of candlelight, but please avoid you using the ones in the rounded pots, poked around a tip over and the fiery wax spilled all over. Oh, so I gotta hit him with the, my ladle. There you go. Oh, is this a shortcut? That's nice. Does it take me on the door all the way to the left? Oh, this one. Okay, cool. I wonder if I could go out that way, but I'd be blocked off by the, uh, the locked gate. So hopefully the enemies didn't respawn. Oh, they did. Dang it. Uh, what does this note say? The spirits insist we repair these gates. If someone took a rod at them. Oh, okay, so this is when you finally get the hint about that. Salamander should, uh, be over here somewhere. Is it Jester? Or maybe it's Io. Halt! Who goes there? It is Io. Ugh, you lot. Dang it, my invisibility's broken. Must have hit my head pretty hard. What you doing in my family's mausoleum, stranger? Huh? Are you the thief? Caught red-handed? Not, not so loud, please. My head. Answer our questions, Steve. This is an interrogation. Fine. So I might have moved a few shiny things around, but they're all fake. Cheap pesto. It's not a real gem the whole lot. Leave what you want, Pipsqueak. But you still tried to steal them? That means you're the one who set off the Clayton curse? A curse, huh? That explains a lot. Let me guess. Basic elemental trap? Some malign spirits? Maybe a blood seal to break it? What? How'd you know? I mean, we're the ones asking the questions here. Huh. Good luck breaking that before I'm already long gone with the real sunstone shard. See you later, losers. Oh. 
Why do I feel like she learned more from us than we did from her? I'm not good with people. Let's forget about Aya and focus on solving Clayton's curse. Her. Let's focus about. Let's forget about Ayo and focus on solving Clayton's clues before she does. Where's uh, Lint? Oh, I guess Lint wasn't important for this, and now we can't go here. Where's the salamander? Uh, was there anything else? Oh, a little rabbit. A bunny is soft and gentle. But I've never heard of a ride of bunnies before. Let's keep looking. That's interesting. I wonder why that's... Uh, a snowflake. That's fragile when it's alone. United. Snowflake hits as hard as stone. That's it. That must be the right one. Yes, there's a right here. All reach for me, young or old. To to keep your toes to you when it's cold. Whether winter, use or summer chest, you know me by my familiar crest. They put the crest on everything. This sounds like something you put away when you're not using it. What about something cozy, like a thick pair of socks? That's it, a quilt. Grandma Cecile was always making a big fuss about wanting me to add a patch on to the family quilt. Even though I can't sew or embroider anything. Last year I hid it in the attic so she couldn't ask me about it. Do you think it's still in the attic? Probably. Although I don't remember exactly where I hid it. It's over here. Key. Oh, this is a common room key that we're looking for. There's a button here. Do we put a Yagi there? What does it open? Oh. There we go. What are you doing in here? Umber. Hello, little ones. I was following the most fascinating creatures and I rather seem to have got myself locked in here. Oh, I say. Have you encountered any native wildlife roaming the snowy tundra? You see, I'm collecting data on dangerous species and I adore sharing my love of research with unsuspecting passerbys. Yeah, but you're in a mausoleum. Here, I'll write down my latest observations in your journal. Very exciting, wouldn't you say? So much data. A veritable treasure trove of fauna. What fun, eh? I say, now you know as much as I do. Mind you, but we've hardly begun to understand these sublime creatures. I've written my notes in my journals. Make good... Oh, I, th I think she says that already. Let's uh, check out the uh, beast bestiary here. I think the last one was ruckus drums, so cold slimes. Slimes that are left out for too long in the cold not only get a stuffy nose, but also a bad attitude. These grumpy gooey gumdrops are filled with anger and poisonous mucus. They won't hesitate to spit at you, so don't bother offering cough drops. I don't know why they have these moves like sneeze four, when we haven't even seen the other forms of sneeze. Uh, or maybe that's supposed to be how much damage they do. But no, it says the damage right next to it, so that doesn't make any sense. Uh, snow trolls. These lumbering giants can be found in snowy forests and caves. They sleep all day and wake up at night, grumpy and ready to chase anyone off their territory. Snowflings have tried to reason with them and just got sore heads. Holders. According to the legends, holders are spirits that roam the forest at night. They lead travelers deeper into the forest and when it's all too easy to get lost, or it's all too easy to get lost. If you run away from a holder, be ready for a fight because these spirits take, never take no for an answer. Emily Dolls. The, the Emily Doll was recalled from every store in the world hours after it went on sale when parents noticed the toy was clearly departing. Be warned. Played with this doll can result in the possession of friends and loved ones. Creepy. Imps. It is said that whenever somebody does something really mean, an imp bursts out of the ground. Whether that's true or not, these little devils sure know how to cause havoc. They especially love, like to bite and hide in innocuous things. Yeah, they come out of the paintings. Hot belly flare. Never leave a burning furnace unattended or else imp... Oh, so these things come in there and then they get kind of possessed by the fire. That's interesting. Find its way inside and transform into a pot belly flare. These strange creatures are dangerously hot and won't hesitate to toss hot coals at their unfortunate victims. That's it. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's it for this area here. Got some more salamander spirits for you. Um. Uh, this is for Yagi. We want Chloe. Yeah, plus one defense. I think I'll try that just to change things up a little. We'll do sarcasm. Okay. I think that's it for this area then? Yeah, it looks like it. I guess we don't do anything with those uh, frozen snowmen. I should have taken the door to the left. <laughs> yeah, let me go back that way. Okay, now we can, uh... Um... What happened here? Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Unless this is a different part of the house? Huh. might be a different part. Because I don't remember it being like this. Oh, this is where he stays. There's so much old junk in this house, it's high time we had a spring clean. And perhaps a cut-price yard sale. Just think of what we could buy if we converted all this useless art to the old instruments and cold hard cash. It's criminally wasted in here to have all these dusty re old relics lying around. I'd be doing all of us a favor by freeing up the space. Hmm. So it's kind of like a, a beach house, or not a beach house, but like a... I forget what it's called, just like a little shed thing. Um, am I supposed to be able to go somewhere here? Because I can see another door, I think. Yeah, I'll fight this uh, guy. And use her new moves too. Thankfully, it's not too many enemies, so I can kind of go for single target stuff. Let's go for a uh, smoldering spear on the Emily. There we go. Again, to let her do some stuff. So I think best serve cold is new. That's pretty good. Oh, uh, what happens when there's sleep? Nothing happens? Okay. Could do Rude Awakening. Oh, so you can't have multiple statuses on. Interesting. Oh, he doesn't have defense anymore. That's interesting. I think that's because of the status we applied to him. Go for a breakthrough to finish it off. Cool. Let's see how we can get that treasure chest. Um... Do I use this fire? No, I can't even fit there. Oh, use this lever. I can't <laughs> activate it properly. There we go. Now we just jump off from the piano, I'm guessing. And what do we got? Some sort of musical instrument? Ooh, Ember Halpert. As the old Ember proverb goes, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies at Halbert's length. I guess that's a three by one? Oh, it's an L shape. But it does give me Ember damage. You know what? Let's, uh... <laughs> I did the thing where I think RB is to turn it. So why? Let's get rid of Fire Whip because we already have fire damage. 
that's cool. Definitely worth coming. Because now I can make enemies who are weak to Ember take super effective damage. And that wasn't a shortcut, unfortunately. So I guess I'll meet you guys back over to where we need to be. Unless something interesting happens. 